little more than two months until Election Day, and both Senate candidates are ramping up their campaigns. Senior reporter Teresa Woodard has a closer look at what they've got planned here in North Texas. Yeah, Chris, of course, when it comes to presidential politics, the campaign season seems to just never really end. But in races closer to home, Labor Day is when candidates really kick it into high gear. Senator Ted Cruz and his opponent, Congressman Colin Allred, are both airing ads in DFW now, and they are campaigning here a lot more as well. We are going to talk about both of them. First, we'll start with Colin Allred because he was here today celebrating Labor Day with some AFL-CIO union members. Allred reminded them he, too, is a union member. He said the NFL Players Union fought for his health care when he was hurt in a game, and he vowed to protect health care for American workers. When you tell a grandma or grandpa has been working their whole life, oh, you know what, we're going to make it so you can't retire with dignity. We're going to cut Social Security. We're going to cut Medicare. Not on my watch. What you say you're going to try and take health care away from working people? Those people work hard for that. Now, you're not going to do it not on my watch. Now, All Red is trying to unseat Cruz, who is running for a third term. He will be back in North Texas tomorrow. The senator is going to Carrollton for an announcement with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Ten or so days ago, he was in the colony, one stop on a statewide launch of his reelection campaign called the Keep Texas, Texas Tour. As we gather here tonight, there are crazy, tax-raising, job-destroying, open-border, commie nuts coming for Texas. And we got a simple answer for them. You can't have it! Now, early voting in Texas starts seven weeks from today. Listen to this. About seven weeks ago was that assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. So clearly, Chris, it is coming fast. 